Hey everybody, this is the Gaming Odyssey, but I'm Flaming Kong. What's up? Um, apparently I messed up my video somehow, so I wasn't recording it. I I could have sworn I was, so I guess I'm just gonna replay the missions. That's really awesome. I wanted to get a lot done today. Would have been super cool, but. It looks like that's not the case. So I did the Golden Vault, and I did these Time Rifts, which was a new thing. And uh, this kind of sucks, to be honest. It was a really good recording, but... And I don't just want to... Anyway, we got introduced to Relics. And the cat person that came to our ship um, gave us the top half of our Relic to the Hamburger. And when we completed that Relic, we actually got a Time Rift which is that purple time rift. And after completing um, act four, we got this blue time rift here. And um, since I already found them, we can just go right into them, which might save a lot of time. But um, I'd like to show where they were located, to be honest. But it's sort of located in like a sewage pipe, basically. So yeah, that's that's what's going on here. Uh, not, I guess it's my fault, but I, I really don't understand what I did wrong. <laughs> like, I legit have no clue. Um, also, sometimes that says checkpoint, like no joke, it says checkpoint, and then guess what? There's no checkpoint, which is kind of confusing, if you ask me. It really doesn't make sense at all. But you know what? I didn't invent. I didn't. In I didn't make the game, so I can't complain. I guess. And there's the first one. Kind of cool. Now, Act Seven. I would play that, but it'd be pretty easy just telling you guys what it is instead, which. Yeah, we also unlocked chapter 3. Which, guess what? We haven't even done chapter 2 yet, so calm your... Your butt, man. So yeah, we did that time rift, and then we also did this time rift. Mafia of Cooks. So we'll do that. Act 7 is pretty straightforward. Basically, there's a golden vault there. And the reason that I don't really have to play it again is mostly because it's really straightforward. Basically... Touching the golden vault, it will show you where all four of the vault tickets are. And then guess what? You're in. Bada bing, bada boom, you're in. So, really not worth it to even bother. Okay, I guess I already, yeah, I already got it. What am I doing? Um, these are rift pawns. You gotta, like, on purple levels, which there's one in each chapter, so there's four of them. I guess almost every chapter, because there's technically a chapter 5, but it's only one level. Um, anyway, what I was going to say is... Bang, bang, water, water, bing, bong, ooh, ooh. Ah, uh, crap, I lost my thought. Um... Hello. Thanks. That, um, yeah, you can just touch the golden vault and it will show you where all of them are. And that's pretty much Act 7 for you guys, so I don't think it's really necessary to redo that. Because I literally just explained everything you have to do. It's probably the easiest mission in Chapter 1. Yeah, I think they just added it because they didn't know what to do, what else to do. Which, honestly... I think the other acts only have six, or all the other chapters only have six, like, things. I don't know why they bothered doing that. They just really wanted that extra thing, I guess. Oh yeah, there's rats there. Oh, that's kind of cute. Anyway, I'm moving through this a lot faster, so this video is going to be really short. Unless I decide to do... You know what? Yeah. That's what we'll do. We'll just do Act 6. 
I'm sure that'll be okay with you guys. You viewers. Um, I also, I, I wanted to talk about the similarities and differences between, um, Hat Hat and Time. Because a lot of people bring up that, man, Hat Hat and Time, compared to other 3D platformers, just has so much freedom with its controls. Which is true, it's not wrong. But I would like to add that, that, like, a lot of the time they're saying that, in, like, defense that, oh, this game is actually, in some ways, better than Mario Odyssey. But I'd like to argue that this, this game, yeah, it's got good controls, there's no doubt about that. But there is, kind of, because I don't think you should be able to bonk into walls, but that's just my opinion. Anyway, uh, here's the last, uh, storybook thing. We're actually gonna die. <laughs> well, not completely die, but... Okay, that totally made sense, everybody. Just the invisible wall, maybe? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened there. Can you stop hitting me with cans? Thanks very much. Sirs. Yeah, that's right. You bled, then. You don't... Let's get out of here. <laughs> You know what, I think we're actually gonna get another thing in my bob, because we unlocked this, if you didn't notice, um, I have sort of a different color scheme to myself. Oh wait, you know, I don't think we will. Wow. It just goes flying all over the place, but we did get more palms, but I don't think we get to do that thing with Jake again. Anyway. That's literally everything that I did in the third episode, which is now this episode, so. Mafia's Grand Voyage. There's Mafia and a fish. Mafia's sad because he'd rather be on a tropical island, so they decide to embark. The Mafia, and they, they, they decide to embark, and then they leave their Mafia wives behind. And they play volleyball and eat meat. And they find the Mafia Island. And they found Mafia Town. On Mafia Island, of course. Does that all make sense? You know, I think I actually am going to stop things here because I'm cool like that. So, uh, thank you all for watching this kind of short video, but next time we're going to be starting chapter 2, so that's kind of neat. See you then. Um, make sure to check out other gaming SE videos, because this video was pretty fun as well, I guess. Yeah, bye. Lolly, lolly, lol.